Hello everybody, this is RQ123 and my new Bison 701 BB gun. So here's the whole scale. The sock's really heavy at the back, so I can't really do that. There you go. So, that's what it's like on the person. It's really long. Um, it's said on the box and on websites and stuff, it's um, 1.2... Uh, yeah, 1,210 millimetres long. <laughs> I mean, it's massive. It is really big. Um, so, first, I'll get onto the stock, it weighs a ton, it weighs, <laughs> it actually weighs more than all of this bit here, all of the barrel and everything, weighs all of this, I mean, if I hold the gun like this, it just falls, if I hold the gun like this, it doesn't fall, so there's really a difference in weight. <laughs> Yeah, the stock weighs more than the um, main gun here, but it, the whole gun weighs four kilograms. So I mean, the stock must weigh like three at least. <laughs> so the cheek rest, which comes with it, sponge or leather or whatever, it's wood imitation. All of this is wood imitation. It's ABS plastic, but really strong. Um, so yeah, that's the stock and the cheek rest. The trigger is metal. Uh, safety. So there's fire. I'm gonna pull the trigger off. Oops, there's that. The other side is just nothing really <laughs> it's just those sort of things is not real the all the use all the things here that are black and metal the sights and everything i'll get to in a minute except from this bit here this bit isn't metal the magazine release just here get to that in a minute the trigger guard the trigger the uh, safety is metal um this thing here which i'll get into in a minute again so yeah oh and the cocking mechanism is plastic it's just fake plastic so the moving down the gun this bit here is how you get the stock off and and the sorry the top bit on here which you can't attach a scope to so if anybody's wondering do not buy a really expensive scope or any scope for that matter because there isn't any rails or attachments or anything on it. You can't fit anything on the barrel or whatever. You can fit um, a bipod or a universal bipod on it. But I don't have one. Yet. <laughs> so, the magazine. Magazine release here. You press that in. Comes out. Now, there is a special way to put this in. Take it out. You simply have to push that in and then take the back out first and then the front to put it in put the front in first and then put it in the back if you just push it in like that it won't go in right, so you have to push it there and then there and then this thing should stay there the cocking mechanism just here is really hard to cock. It's super hard. I mean, I have to even hold it like this, on my leg, because it's oh, really hard. And and you can still see from my fingers. I've been doing it for just a couple of minutes, and I've got my hands red and everything. <laughs> so there's the hop up in there. You can just get to it there, but you have to take this off um, first. See, so after you've cocked it once, it's like really easy to cock. 
and do it with my pinky, even though it's sprained. <laughs> so I can't do it with that pinky, but I'll do it with the other pinky. Um, and just listen. Oh, hang on, yeah. So there's safety off. And then if you look here, no, there, you should see a spring come forward. There you go. Just there. It's a really big spring, it's really powerful. Um, 447 FPS with 0.12 BBs, 360 with 360 to 370 with 0.2s, but with 0.2s it's like 17 out of 17 shots. With 0.12s it's not great for accuracy, but it's good for power. I mean, it, from about 10 metres away I've shot it, because I've only got 0.12s at the minute, I've shot it and it went, what? From 10 metres away, it went through a can and came out the other side with nothing in it, <laughs> which is a bit scary, actually. Because <laughs> this could seriously hurt somebody if it wanted to. If anybody wanted to, like, really hurt you, like, severely, this is the thing to do it with. <laughs> it would really hurt. I mean, I've been shot with loads of BB guns, but I don't want to really get shot with this thing. Um, it weighs four kilograms, already said that. Um, take this bit off here to get to the stock, which the screws go in there, there, and there's one here, which doesn't go fully in, so don't worry. You simply get this, pull it all the way around, and then this thing should just slide off, but I'm not going to do it because it's quite difficult to get it off. And then just lock it in place. So, yeah, um, and again, the sight. Yeah, you can see the numbers on them. You simply press this button in here. Sorry for the side camera, but and you press it in, and you can move it up and down to whatever you want, to have what suits you. And as you can see, if you push it that way, it goes down. If you push it that way, it goes up. I recommend two to three, just over a little bit, and. Weirdly enough, it's like the AK-47 side, which does that, and then you can just... But I don't know what that's for. I don't even know why it does that. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Whatever. Then, the barrel is all metal. All of this is metal. And the massive <laughs> nozzle on the end is huge. <laughs> I think it's, it's like five inches or something. It's massive, like to my hand. It's about the same length of my hand, a little bit shorter. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Please rate. Oh, and the um, strap on it as well. Forgot about that. So you can attach the strap there and there. Right. So <laughs> yep. <yeah. laughs> thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.